Hi my beauties, I hope you're all having a gorgeous beautiful day. My name is Leanne Tomasi and welcome back to my channel. Before I get along with the video, please subscribe to me, click the button right here so you can get weekly notifications from me and I would love that, it will mean the entire world to me and I hope to make at least one person happy a week. That's my goal. Today I'm gonna to be talking about five things that very successful people do before 8 a.m. and hopefully this will help at least one of you this has helped me so much and I feel like so many people have recently come up to me and told me that these type of videos is something that they look forward to on my channel so I hope to do more of these and I hope you beauties enjoy this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below enjoy number one life can be tough it is hard as it is but I promise you with a little bit of exercise in the morning before 8 a.m., you will wake up more energized, you will feel more energetic throughout the day and more determined, driven and motivated. Now I know, me included, sometimes to get a tiny bit of exercise in the day can be so hard and so difficult because life in itself is difficult. But I promise you, anywhere from a 10 minute to a 20 minute to a 30 minute or if you're lucky, an hour workout will change your life mentally, as well as physically. So get that little bit of exercise in the day and you'll be so much more successful throughout the rest of the day. Number two, it is so important whether it is putting five minutes aside or 10 minutes aside to map out your day. It can be as simple as getting a list and writing down your points of what you're gonna do throughout the day and getting them done. Something as simple as this can change your entire day. You're going to know what to focus on, you are going to know how to tick off that list and what to get done throughout the day. Organization is key, you guys. Now I've started keeping diaries and journals for as long as I can remember and they've helped me so much. And obviously I have my days that are more tough than others, but honestly writing a simple list and doing it and ticking it off can change your life. <laughs> Number three. Now I'm sure you hear this so many times, it can go in one ear, go out the other, but it is so important. If you eat healthy, you are going to feel more productive more focused, more relaxed, less, less, less anxious, and just more determined to get anything that you want done. Now, eating healthy can be as simple as protein, vegetables, water, whatever it is, is your way into it. And I promise you, once you hit like the 30 day or two month mark, you're gonna be like, I don't even wanna eat junk because junk slows down your body so much. Have you realized after your dinner, you just feel like sluggish? That's because if you have carbs or anything unhealthy, it gets you feeling tired. And why be tired? There's one quote that I found on Tumblr or Pinterest, cannot remember, and it says, we live like we think we have two lives. Like we shouldn't, we have one life, you guys, one life. Let's make the most. <laughs> Number four is my favorite. And if you follow me on Snap, you'll be bombarded by my vision board. You guys, visualization. If you want something, plan it, post about it, tell others, put it in the universe. At the same time, keep your dreams and goals to yourself, but put it out there. You know what I mean? If you want something, make a board, go to Target like I did. Get a cheap board, slap it on the board, and just look at it every day, visualize it. How are you gonna get that goal? How are you gonna get that house? How are you gonna get that job? What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna talk to? Who are you gonna meet? Do it. It honestly works so much. I cannot tell you, I it has taken me two years to finish my vision board, I know, sorry. Uh, but once I did it, you guys, it's been two weeks, I wanna say. I am not kidding you. I've received so many things already from that board and it's like freaky. Like I went to lunch with one of my friends last week and we were just freaked out about the whole fact, like how things are coming true because I put it out there. I made the vision board. Follow me on Snap, you'll get glimpses of it throughout the day, throughout the week. And I definitely recommend it. It is inexpensive and it is so easy to do. It's like relaxing to me and your dreams can come true. I don't know why everyone doesn't have a vision board. Do it. Make a vision board. Let this be your song. Number five, make your day top heavy. Now this means, I just feel like I'm Sabrina the Teenage Witch now. This means that do the harder tasks in the morning of the day and then the like mediocre tasks, the middle of the day and then the simpler, easier ones, the end of the day. Now this will kind of make your mind more at ease. It will get you more relaxed and you're not gonna kind of stress out like, oh my gosh, like in the morning I have to do something in the afternoon. Panic, panic, panic. You know what I mean? You're gonna get majority of your work done in the mornings. Can be as simple as getting top three important things done before 8 a.m. It can be running, it could be quickly sorting through your emails, not getting everything done, just quickly sorting through your emails. It could be writing a list. There you go, top three things. And get them done before 12 a.m. if you can. Just you will feel so much more better, so much more relaxed and comfortable. 
with your life, with your day. And I just feel like once 3 p.m. hits, you're not gonna be tired. You're gonna be like, okay, what to do next? What to do next? You know what I'm saying? You guys, those are my five top tips and I promise you, these will help you if you implement it. Do it little by little. Maybe start off by waking up half an hour early. Maybe start off by adding in the exercise. Maybe start off by writing a list. And I promise you, things will fall into place. Everyone always asks me, Lillian, why are you always so happy? Why are you always confident? Do you never have bad days? Do you guys, I'm human. Of course I have bad days. But life is so beautiful. Are you kidding me? Like we're placed on this earth for such a short period of time. Why be sad? Is anything worth it? Are you going to be worried about what you're worried today? A year from now, I'll let you answer. Go ahead and answer. Pretty sure the answer's gonna be no. That boy that you're worried about, are you gonna be worried about him a year later? Mm -mm, I don't think so. Anything, it, like whatever it is, you're not gonna be worried about it a year from now. Highly doubt you will. So focus on the positive, focus on the great quality of your life. You live one life and make it so worth it that you wouldn't even wanna come back if you had the choice again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there's this quote that I, found and it's on my vision board, which you probably have seen. I am obsessed with it. I tell anyone that I can, like I'm a car, how are you? I have a quote to tell you. And the quote is, dreams are not random, they are your calling. So stop whatever you're doing, put it down, down, down. Go ahead and go chase your dreams. If you want a sign, this is your sign. And if no one has your back, I have your back. You don't need anyone else, just me and you. We're in this together, you guys. So go ahead, get off your chair and follow these dreams. I promise you, it will change your life. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you positive vibes, love and hugs, virtual hugs and kisses. Until next time, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if it helped you and leave your comments and your thoughts below because I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Until next time, bye.